imagine it's a bright sunny day and temperature seems to be rising gradually what kind of outfit would you choose while going out in the sun light and soft cotton clothes that's what i will choose same holds true for furnishing we would prefer soft and comfortable bed sheets and pillow covers made up of cotton many such amazing applications make cotton the most integral part of our lives and also the first choice among other fibers so where does the story of cotton begins it begins from this soft spongy balls seen on this cotton plants let's get started with them cotton plants require lot of sunshine and a typical tropical climate with the medium rainfall once the cotton ball which is the fruit like structure containing the cotton fibers matures it bursts open and the snow white cotton fibers are exposed these balls are collected and drawn into yarns but wait don't you think we need to separate the seeds and the soft fluffy part first well that can be carried out either manually or these days mostly with the use of machine the process of separating the seeds and the fibers is called as ginning once ginning is successfully carried out the fibers are taken for the next step the next step is spinning what do we mean by spinning it's the process of separating yarns from fibers remember the series fibers make up yarn and yarn makes the fabric so fibers are the naturally occurring threads these needs to be drawn into long and continuous filaments these long filaments are the yarns and these yarns are the ones that are woven into fabrics so spinning is the process where the threads are converted into yarns but how is this done if you take a cotton thread between your palms and press it gently this way what you get is a slender long filament like structure this is nothing but yarn we know that there are tons of threads that are spun into yarn every day but if this is how spinning occur then imagine the amount of effort needed to make yarn out of so much of cotton how is it done then of course there are machines which help us to do that in countries like india since many years the traditional equipment like charka was used however with the advancement in the field of technology newer machines to spin the threads into yarn are now available with this we complete the first major step of cotton collection and spinning the thread into yarn now we need to make fabric out of the yarn let's see that in the next video subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss on any videos keep learning here in you right we believe that every child is unique and to help you more with this we have come up with a free counseling session to help you succeed are you worried about scoring less marks in exams or are you worried about focus study hours consistency then all you need is a free counseling session from us to book a free counseling session with us all you need to do is type www. t u r i g h t dot com that's right t u r i g h t dot com and as you enter into the website you get a window where it is been written has free session you just need to enter your details and you're all set to go not only that t u r i g h t also helps you in public speaking communication and makes you unique and different from others register today to get started